last week in our walk around the showroom tour video, we had one of our comments in the YouTube comments box at the bottom of our video ask, hey, what are all the microfiber towels for? So right here, I'm back in the showroom, all with our microfiber towel selection, and I'm gonna talk about what each microfiber towel is for, what it does, what do you need to do to choose the right microfiber towels, and which one is best for you. So let's talk about the microfiber towels and how they work and what they're for. Let's start over here at the end. So at the end right here, you might notice we have three colors of microfiber towels. We have green, blue, and yellow. What is each of these microfiber towels for? So this is a standard 16 by 16 microfiber towel. This is considered standard size when we're talking about microfibers. Why is this a standard size? The standard size so you can actually fold it in fours and get that nice four fold. We talk about this in a lot of window cleaning videos, quick detailing videos. We talk about the four fold and the four fold is important to put your hand on, okay? So why do we have four different colors? Well, actually these towels are all the same material. They're all the same microfiber. The size and the color, uh, the size are all the same, but the color is different. What, the, what is the color for? Uh, the color is actually so you don't crisscross the towels when you're working. These are the colors that we use for Smart Detailing University. So we use green for the outside of the car. So when we're washing the car, doing quick detail sprays. We have blue towels when we do the windows. And we have yellow towels when we do the inside of the car. Now we don't want to get wax from our uh, green towels on our window towels. Then we'll get streaks on our windows. We also don't want to get window cleaner on our interior towels because then we'll hurt the interior. We might damage leather. Or we might uh, stain some type of sensitive plastic. So we keep these towels separate. We wash the greens, the blues, and the yellows completely separate so they don't crisscross. You can actually do this any method. If you want to use yellow for the windows or if you want to use blue for the exterior, that's okay. At Smart Detailing University, we have the system green for the outside, blue for the windows, yellow for the interior. So you don't get the towels mixed up. These towels are really good. Uh, these 16 by 16 workhorse towels because if something happens to them they're really cheap and you can throw them away really easy they're great for doing dirty work cleaning stuff that's dirty uh, undercarriage anything where the towel if it's compromised can be disposed quickly and easily we also sell these in big packs so you can get a better deal on them and you don't have to use an expensive towel when you're detailing you can use an average price towel to make sure that you get the best results. We even show you at Smart Detailing University that you don't have to use a very expensive towel to get the right results. So now what are all these other exotic towels? Let's move over and show you guys what they do. So right here we have some other exotic towels. Uh, these are actually larger towels. I'll talk about these for a little while. This is a bigger towel. This is a, um, a 31 by 51 inch silk line towel. And what is this towel for? This towel is great for a number of things. It's good for drying your car. So if you wanna dry your car with a softer towel, this is perfect for that. Uh, it's also silk line and the silk lining doesn't scratch the surface. Uh, so you're gonna make sure that your towel isn't gonna cause any marks. Sometimes if the towel's cheap and has polyester in it on the outside, you can actually scratch the exterior of the car. Uh, this is also, the silk lining also does another trick as it makes the towel really strong. So the towel won't rip because the silk lining is reinforcement and actually keeps the towel lasting longer. These are also good for other parts of detailing as well. You can have one of these in the car and you can put it on the carpet. So if it's raining, you don't get your carpet all dirty. It's also good if you're working on a car and you're leaning over cleaning the engine bay, you can lay this on the fender. So when you lean over it, you're not scratching any part of the vehicle. That's why this towel is really good. And these bigger towels are good for that purpose as well. Here's another bigger towel. This is actually a 25 by 36 uh, silk line towel, another color. And some of these towels you might notice are longer on one side and they have a shorter nap on the other. This is actually for one side is for quick detailing. And then it, sometimes when you're buffing off wax, it's a little bit difficult because the towel grabs the wax and doesn't remove it uh, if the, the uh, plush is too soft. So we have a short side and the short side gets a nice grab so you can remove stuff like bird droppings or wax or polish a little bit easier and still not scratch the surface. These big towels uh, aren't good for like removing wax and things like that. They're mainly good for drying, uh, keeping the car looking good. There's a lot of different ways you can use these towels. Here we have another big towel. This is a 25 by 36 inch towel. And this towel is actually extra plush. 
Uh, the pile is real plush, it's real soft, so it's good for drying. It's good for doing things like covering your fender, covering a door, uh, even quick dusting, clay bar, if you don't want the towel to get too soaked up. So this towel gives you a lot of advantages when you're detailing. So right here we have some more. These are all bigger towels, and what are the different colors for? Once again, the colors are to distinguish what kind of product you're using. So if you're using a wax, a window cleaner, a quick detail spray, any type of product, you can distinguish what towel is for which. Honestly, the color is all your preference, kind of like what underwear you choose. If you want to wear red underwear, you want to use blue underwear. It's the same thing. Choose whatever one you like color the best. So if you like orange, get the orange. If you like the white, get the white. Personally, I have a lot of color towels, and I grab whichever one I feel is more comfortable to use. So if I feel like blue today, I'm going to grab a blue towel. Let's move over here to some other towels. These are some El Gordo towels. And the El Gordo towels, uh, you might notice, are a little bit bigger. And there's two different sizes. There's a 16 by 24, and there's also a 16 by 16. And once again, the size is all about personal preference. Some people like a 16 by 16 because they get that nice fourfold. They can stick it in to door panels and uh, door jams a little bit easier. Or we have the 16 by 24. I like the 16 by 24 because I actually like to fourfold it. And then sometimes I like to six fold it. So I get a nice six fold. My hands aren't huge gorilla hands, they're a little bit smaller. So I can actually have a nice grip on the towel while having a nice plush cushion when I'm pushing down on it. It's good for interior dusting, quick detail, waxing, polishing, any type of those is a great all around towel. So right here we have two towels. We have a shaggy fur ball and a Sasquatch Maximus. There's a little bit difference between these two. The Sasquatch Maximus is a little bit more full, has a little bit fatter pile on the towel, and the, the uh, shaggy fur ball is a little bit thinner, but the uh, pile is a little bit different, and it grabs dust a little bit different. What do I like these towels for? I actually like the shaggy fur ball for dusting interiors. If you drive with your windows down, if you have a Miata, an S2000, a convertible like a Boxster, uh, or any type of convertible, you might have the top down or the windows open a lot, and you might get this dust on the inside of your dash. That dust is often a pain to get off. You can use a interior quick detail spray like Interclean, or you can wipe it down with a towel. And I like to use this towel to wipe it down because all these longer fibers, as you can see when it pops up and I move my hand over it, these fibers actually capture the dust and pull it away. So usually once a week I like to take one of these uh, shaggy fur ball towels and just wipe down my interior. And if I have a dressing, it won't take off the dressing but it'll remove the dust. This uh, is also good for removing wax or removing quick detail spray. It's extra soft so you know it won't harm the vehicle in any way. Now the Sasquatch Maximus is a little bit thicker, but the plush is, or the pile is still very soft and plush. So you can go ahead and fold it in fours, and it's also silk lined, so it's not gonna rip or tear. These silk lining actually keeps the towel very strong, so you can pull on it, it's not gonna rip, and it's gonna last for a long time. If you take care of your microfiber towels, they'll last a very, very long time. You wash them properly, dry them properly, and store them, you're gonna have good results, and you're gonna have a nice long life of your towels. So we have some extra plush towels over here. These are actually a uh, different number of towels. These are what we like to use for interiors. Now, why do we use yellow for interiors? We use yellow because if we're cleaning things like leather or dashboards or anything painted, we know that when we're cleaning that, if we're getting color like black or tan on our yellow towel, we know that our product is too strong and we need to dilute our product differently. Sometimes leather cleaning is difficult because the leather uh, dye can actually come off the surface. So we wanna make sure that we always have a yellow towel so we can see if our product dilution ratio is proper. We have more blue towels over here in pink. These are edgeless towels, so they don't have an edge. Uh, they're actually blended right into the towel. Uh, no silk lining, no uh, micro cotton. These towels are good, once again, for doing windows because they're cheap and cheerful. Uh, you can throw them away if they get dirty, and you don't have to worry about, oh, I'm going to lose an expensive towel. We have pink towels down here, and once again, if you want to make pink towels uh, a special designated towel, like you want to use it on engine bays, 
or if you want to use it on wheels. That's what the color coordination is for, so you can determine what this towel is for. You don't have to think about, oh, this towel is for engine bays. I can grab it quickly from my cart and move on, because when we're detailing, speed is important. Uh, so let's move over here to these towels right here. So now let's talk about drying your car. When you're drying your car, you need to use a different microfiber towel. Uh, there's a little bit difference between the microfiber towels, the pile, the plush, the thickness. And if you try to use one of these bigger microfiber towels to dry the car, sometimes they just move the water around and they don't absorb the water. Microfiber is great for absorbing dust. So if you're dusting your car, the EPA says that the microfiber is the safest and cleanest way to remove dust from, a, uh, from any surface because you don't have to use a chemical. You can actually just use plain water and it'll remove dust very, very easily and suck it into the pile. But the problem is that this moves water around when it gets too full of water. So that's why they invented uh, waffle weave microfiber. So waffle weave microfiber, if you notice, has all these squares in the towel itself. And these microfiber squares actually absorb the water inside the towel. The squares get a little bit fatter and then it doesn't drip. It also doesn't move the water around. It's great for absorbing water. So you wanna use a waffle weave microfiber towel when you dry the car and they come in a lot of different sizes. These ones are for drying glass and door jams. They're 16 by 24, so they don't drag on the ground. And I like to use these to dry the car and then follow up with a softer towel like one of these fluffer towels so you don't get any streaks. So when I dry the car, I usually use two towels. And these waffle weave drying towels, they come in a lot of different colors. We have blue right here and red, so you can maybe use one for door jams and one for the windows. They also come in bigger sizes. Here is a, uh, a bigger towel that's a little bit bigger than 16 by 24, but it has no edge, it's edgeless. It's actually a good choice. So we also have bigger ones. These are what I recommend for drying the car. Here's a bigger microfiber towel. This is a waffle weave and it's a bigger size. Here's an absorber. This is another big one. This is a bigger towel. So this is good for drying the car if you have a smaller car, like a sports car, like a Porsche Boxster, uh, like a Mini Cooper. Something really small that you wanna be able to dry it very easily. So these are good choices. I like using these towels, this gray matter or the absorber. The gray matter is actually 36 by 25 and the absorber is actually 26 by 32. So all these are a different size. Personally, the ones that I like are these SUV size towels. These are good for drying trucks, SUVs, or regular cars. They're extra big. They're 26 by 35. But I like them because they got these pockets right here. So you can slip your hands in the pockets and you can actually dry the car and move your way around very, very easily. And you have a less risk of dropping the towel because if you drop the towel on the ground, you need to go ahead and wash it because it will pick up dirt and you don't want to scratch the car. So I like these for actually drying the car. And actually I have a Mustang and I like this to dry the Mustang too, not just the SUV. So always remember when you're drying, you can always grab the biggest towel that you need anytime. So let's talk about some more premium towels, a little bit newer technology of towels right here at the front. So right over here, we have a few of our newer towels. These are little newer technology towels. Uh, we like to bring new innovations and make new towels. So what do we got right here? We have some edgeless polishing towels. These polishing towels actually have no edge. So if you notice, they just look like they're cut out of a square. And these are cool because they have no edge. Uh, so you, you won't grab on anything, you won't scratch. It does make the towel a little bit weaker, but they're good for very, very fine polishing. So if you're polishing jewelry or you want something that's really light but can actually polish really easy, this is a great towel for that. This comes in black too. Sometimes you want a black towel uh, because uh, you want to be able to hide dirt. So these are cool for removing stuff like dirt from tires as well. So these are actually a few of our uh, newer towels. These are called micro cotton towels. So they're actually a blend between microfiber and cotton. Uh, so if you notice, the edge is not silk. The edge is actually micro cotton. So you ensure that you don't scratch the surface. They're extra soft. They're actually two-sided. One side's a little longer pile and the other side's a shorter pile. These are a great all around towel. I like these right after I polish the car. If you spend 20, 30, 40, even 50 hours polishing a vehicle, 
you don't want to go ahead and risk the scratch. So these are insured to not scratch the vehicle at all. Not just reduce the risk, but eliminate the risk completely. These come in two sizes because I like them so much. They come in a 16 by 24 and a 16 by 16. And the colors are all different, so you go, go ahead and use them with a different product. You can go ahead and use blue with polish. You can use gray with sealant. And maybe you can use these yellow ones with wax or some type of glaze. I kind of like these towels as well because they have no tag. If you notice, they just have a sticker as a tag and I don't have to rip the tag off, it pulls right off because it's a sticker. Whenever you use a, a towel, you always want to remove the tag because the tag is not, uh, is not microfiber, it's also not silk, it's actually a very abrasive material and you need to remove it. So when you buy a new microfiber towel and it has this little tag right here, go ahead and take the towel, grab it, and rip off the tag. Take this, put it in your pocket, throw it away. You don't want to have that touching the vehicle. That way you know this towel has been used because the tag is gone, but it's also a good way to not scratch the vehicle. So there's one more type of towel that you guys need to know about, and it's terry cloth. About 20, 30 years ago, everybody used to use terry cloth, but terry cloth is very abrasive and can scratch your paint. So if you're using terry cloth on your car and you have all those spider swirl marks all over your car, you want to make sure that you don't use terry cloth because that might be what's causing your swirl marks on your vehicle. Terry cloth is very abrasive. It can scratch the surface very, very easy. So you don't want to use these when you're detailing your paintwork. There is one exception to that, and terry cloth is great for polishing metal. So if you're polishing aluminum uh, or any type of bare metal, not really chrome, but a bare metal like aluminum, this is great for that because if your aluminum is heavily oxidized, the abrasive in the, micro, or in the terry cloth can go ahead and pull off that, uh, that layer of oxidation easier than a, than a standard microfiber towel. The oxidation on your wheel is usually a layer, so you want to go ahead and pull off that layer using a metal shine or metal wax to make sure you bring back that bright shine. So don't use this on your paint. Keep these in your bathroom at your house, uh, but they're great for polishing metal as well, so you always keep them in your toolbox just in case you need them. So now you know all about microfiber, so hopefully when you go to detail your car, you choose the right microfiber towel and not the wrong one because we all know you need the right tool to get the job done. So if you have any more questions about microfiber towels or any form about detailing, you could check out our Facebook or YouTube, or you can find me and all these cool microfiber towels hanging out at chemicalguys.com.